This Week on the Corner, let's help with retraction. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's me, Jeff. Welcome to my corner. And this week, we're going to help you tune your retraction the easy way. Is there an easy way for retraction? Well, normally what we'll do is we'll print a retraction calibration test, either the two tower thing or the four tower thing, and we'll adjust all our settings and we'll see if we can get rid of that pesky stringing. Um, there's a tool out there that you can use to help you simplify this and get you onto the right path really quickly. And we're gonna talk about that right now. We are gonna go to retractioncalibration.com. Calm. And this will give us a calibration generator. And what it will do is it will basically build you a tower. And it will slowly, as it circles the tower, it will increase retraction. And then as it goes upwards, it will increase speed. So you'll be able to see by looking at your tower what you think are the best speed and retraction distance for your printer. So what we're gonna do here is, and I think I've already done it, but you're gonna go into your slicer, find the printer you want to use. I'll be using my Vox Lab Aquila. And you're gonna just take some settings and transfer them over. You're gonna to need to know your X and Y dimension, which on the Aquila is 220. The nozzle diameter, which is a 0.4 nozzle. Now, this is important, the uh, start retraction distance, because this is a Bowden extruder. You, you probably want to go at uh, a half a mil each time. If it was direct drive, you probably want to go for a quarter or a 1.5 mil each time. But for a Bowden, which is what we're using, we'll go to a half mil each time. Your filament diameter, which is your standard. And then we're going to go with retraction speed. Now these are mostly all defaults, I believe, when you load it up. So it's a really good system for a Bowden printer. So it's going to go with a start retraction speed of 10 mils. And then it's slowly going to increase as you go up the tower. We're going to print at a 0.2 layer height. Our temperature we're going to print at is 200. Our extrusion multiplier is going to be 1. Our fan speed is going to be 40. Um, it's the recommended for when you're testing retraction rather than having a big uh, whirlwind of air blow on it. You're going to know a bit better with a lower retraction or with a lower fan speed. Sorry. Our bed temp is going to be 60. And our layers per test is 25. So it's 25 layers going up. And every 25 layers going up, it will print a little pip on the side. So you'll be able to count them going upwards. And then the number of tests is 15. So 0.5, 1, 2, and that's these tests around the outside here. So that's what that's going to be, right? So in this example, this is going to check at a 10 millimeter per second increase going gradually higher and then it's going to go around at a 0.5 millimeter increase to the retraction distance so the travel speed so you're going to want to grab that from your slicer for your printer and that's in Prusa slicer it's under print settings and speed your travel is 150 so that's what I'm going to use. And my print speed off of my slicer is 40. Okay. So again, that's what I'm going to use as well. Now, where it says custom G code here, whatever start G code you're currently using for your printer, you can just simply copy. Let's get it all here. Hang on copy and paste it into this window which I've already done and then what's going to happen is on these settings we're going to generate the G code and we're going to save it onto a disk and print it so or a scan disk okay 
So that's what we're going to do. We're going to save it and then we're going to print it. So let's do that right now. Okay, so the print is complete. So let's have a look at this. And I'll explain to you how it prints up. So, uh, if you see the corner where it starts is right here. Uh, let's see if we can get that focused in there. There we go. It gradually increases by uh, half a millimeter every time. So that's 0 0.5, 1, point, uh, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, we're getting closer, 4, so it's, I think it's in the 4 somewhere. You see that? See how we're slowly but surely removing all traces of stringing as we go along. I don't know how close we can get there. There we go, see that? All right. So what was this, 4.5? So uh, 0 0.5, 1, 0 0.5, 2, 0 0.5, 3, 0 0.5, 4. And if we go to five, you see we got some really, really nice uh, retraction settings there. But I think we're somewhere in between the middle of four and five. So now, let's see here if we can get you focused here. You see these little pips on the side right there? So that is the speed. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All right. Now, I'm going to say, looking at this, and where were we? We were four and a half, right? Five, one, two, three. No, we were at four times one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to go for a four millimeter retraction at 50 speed. And that's how this works. It's really quite easy and simple to dial those things in. So let's get back. Okay, so now I am ready to test one of these little tower thingies. The simple retraction test, I'll link that below. And what we're gonna do is we are going to insert our settings into extruder one. So under print settings, extruder one. So we said it was our, our best looking was a four and our speed was a 50. And we're gonna go ahead and slice this and I'm gonna print one of these bad boys off. So this is the Vox Lab printing the uh, retraction tower with the settings that I found on the calibration site. So I just wanted to show you that there's very minor, minor, minor stringing, but that's probably actually, to be honest with you, because this filament is over a year old and probably has some moisture in it, but it looks good. Okay, so there you have it. Um, We have a small calibration tower, uh, very, very minor, minor stringing. So there we are. That's a uh, quick way to start figuring out your retraction settings. It will give you the basics for the retraction distance and speed. You will then need to figure out your other factors um, like your Z hop, your D retraction, your lift. Um, but this, gives you a good baseline. 
on where to start looking at some retraction problems. Now remember, also do this with dry filament. You're going to pull your hair out if you're doing this with a moist roll of filament that's stringy and crazy and awful. So dealing with retraction for your standard set of printers right out of the box is usually pretty straightforward because there's a ton of profiles you can find online. Once you start modifying your printers, you may start running into challenges and something like this will really help you sort of try to narrow down what those problems could be. So there are other tools online that you can try that um, will help you with calibration. I know Michael at Teaching Tech has a GitHub page dedicated entirely to calibrating your printers. And I would highly recommend you go over there. I'll actually leave the link down below. I actually think in his link to link to link, there's a link for this buried in there somewhere. Um, but again, this is a really cool way to sort of start looking at how to fine tune your, your, your retraction settings. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Um, please leave me a like if you enjoyed this content. Put a comment down below if there's something that you'd like to see or if you have some more retraction tips. Um, if you're cruising through this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And until next time, everyone, peace out.